What's up, everybody? Like usual, we're going to dive right into it today. We're going to go right into World of Warcraft killing itself currently. So you've heard it time and time again, only WoW can kill itself. Well, what does that exactly mean? World of Warcraft has positioned itself in the industry in such a way with so many different angles, including Hearthstone and you know, it's got Overwatch and it's got a lot going on. Just like Riot's MMO where they've got League of Legends and they've got Legends of Runeterra card game and they've got Valorant that's kind of competing with Overwatch. But anyways, so World of Warcraft is a bunch of different entities under one umbrella. And for a long time, that's worked for them. They've been able to slowly, you know, retain an amount of gamers that makes them considerably profitable every year. That's why Blizzard was bought out by Microsoft recently, because Blizzard's looked at as, you know, a winning entity in a lot of ways. But World of Warcraft itself is a dated game that's been basically pushed past the brink of what technology can do for this game anymore. With this new expansion that you're seeing, Dragonflight, you'll, you've noticed that, you know, they're giving you a single class and a single race that can be this class. And it's the first time they've ever done anything exclusive like that. Well, that's kind of crazy if you think about it. I mean, upon launch, there's probably going to be millions of evokers and very little of anything else. And that's not going to work that great for the game. I just don't think they care anymore. Blizzard just doesn't give a fuck what happens. And World of Warcraft is dying. It's bleeding out. So specifically, how is that happening? Well, Classic's current success is actually cannibalizing the game in a lot of ways. And basically what's happening is, and you just saw it recently with the, the launch of Wrath Classic, the, the classic version of the game is pulling away from the retail version of the game. And you'd say that doesn't matter. That doesn't matter because either way, they're paying a sub subscription fee and who cares which version of the game they play? Well, the problem is, is that right now, Blizzard's attention is focused on old content. Classic is old. This is expansions ago. And that's what people are excited about. And they're dishing it out on a silver platter. They just don't care. For them, that's a massive extra revenue stream. But there's a couple main problems when you have a successful classic version of a game. And we're going to talk specifically about Blizzard and World of Warcraft and what's happening. So a classic version only has so much to tell. You can only go so far with it. There can only be so many expansions. I mean, you can't run a classic version up to a game, what, behind a previous expansion of the retail version? That's ridiculous. And I'm sure some companies will do it just to try to profit on it. But yeah. And one of the things I don't like about that is that they can basically ruin the retail version as much as they want and they just don't give a fuck because they'll, in their minds, they're going, well, if you don't like it, go play the classic version. So there you go. And you're like, but wait, fuck, I don't want to be forced into classic. I like the retail version. I like all the bells and whistles. I like the way retail works. Why do I have to be forced to play a classic version of a game that I love? Well, yeah, they basically realized that going forward, the brand itself has very little future and they're going to have to start banking on the historical success of the brand. Bang, hence classic, hence TBC after classic launched and then now Wrath. And people are already asking, what about Mists and blah, blah, blah. Well, of course they're going to do that. But um, anyways, back to how they're just basically killing themselves. So over time as classic basically retains success and people just don't want to play retail because now they've become conditioned to that classic feel the way that the trees worked it's a little bit less feeling like a job 
and more feeling like a game. And then having to go back into that retail experience is just brutal. So, I mean, you know, Blizzard's really playing with fire here. They're, they're fucking around with some dangerous shit because they're basically just experimenting on the masses on a constant basis to see which works. And they're launching their new expansion right alongside the success of their classic launch. If you don't see how that's bad for the game because classic eventually runs out of content, you're crazy. I mean, basically, they're acknowledging that retail is not as popular as what the old game was. And yeah, you're never going to probably, although I looked up some statistics the other day and it appeared at that moment that Classic had as many players as retail on. And it was like a million point one and a million point two. So, I mean, even statistically speaking, Classic is about as popular, if not more popular than retail right now. But of course, when Dragonflight launches, that's going to change again. And that circle will will cycle back. But do Dragonflight's not going to deliver what any of the previous expansions did. It's going to be a disappointment. People were asking for, you know, less things to do, basically. So... That's kind of what they gave people and a, and a retoned um, PvP system because the PvP system had just been shit for so long. So you might have, you know, an easier time maybe gearing up in PvP and PvP in WoW retail might seem better going forward. But yeah, better than what? Better than what they previously gave us? I mean, that's not a standard that we should be holding up anymore, especially with games like the new Riot MMO coming out. I mean, we need to start holding World of Warcraft and Blizzard a little bit more accountable for their poor decision making. And to decide to piss shitloads of revenue into a classic version of their game when they could have pissed shitloads of revenue into making World of Warcraft actually have modern feeling gameplay or something just tells you where the brand's going. It's going to fucking die. And um, that's it. going to try to keep this one short and sweet today and uh, get right to the point. And don't, you know, get me wrong. I love World of Warcraft love World of Warcraft. Um, it's the game that I could never get out of my brain. But it's also the game that I feel more than any other game, basically, it just is outdated. And that's the best word that I can use. And they've tried to carry it along so well. But at this day and age in 2022, going into 2023, we deserve a better game. We deserve something more. We deserve a better gameplay experience with utilization of current technologies. And um, that's basically it. So anyways, until we meet again, have a nice day, you guys.